ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to slow the music? Pretty simple though, you don't need no prep. The cellular organelles double in number. It gets more exciting though, so don't y'all slumber. DNA replicates and proteins are synthesized. Actually, that's not more exciting, but I'm not surprised. Chromosomes are not visible and DNA appears as uncoiled chromatin, and that deserves a cheer. The next step is metaphase. Get pumped up. Chromosomes are moving round. Yup, yup, yup. Synchrosomes are at opposite yep. poles of the cell. Something's about to go down. I can tell. Chromosomes are highly coiled and condensed. Let the important functions now commence. The chromosomes are arranged on an equal plane, equidistant from two poles. That's freaking insane. We call it a metaphase plate, and it's real handy. And that's it for metaphase. It's all fine and dandy. Fine and dandy! We're moving on to the anaphase. It's all about movement, so don't be amazed. The paired chromosomes separate like Brad and Jolie. This is getting quite ridiculously funky. It was all because of those shortened kinetic force that pulled and pushed them apart hardcore. Fifth step is telophase. Time to get wild. All your mitosis hate shall now be exiled. Cytoplasm starts dividing. The cells start to constrict. Two daughter cells are formed, but don't y'all go convict. Both cells are okay, and organelles are distributed. Two cells is what we got, both perfectly crafted. Last but not least is cytokinesis. You might think this is mitosis, but if you do, you must be in some crisis. It's a totally different part that gets the job done. The spindle fibers that are all alone start having some fun. They pile up into the masses. Suddenly the contractile ring cleaves it in half. So don't you get afraid, you lasses, cause all us guys are just having a laugh. It all ends up with two daughter cells. And I hope you had fun, cause we did as well. Alright, make it make it way back home. Oh snap! Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs>